You can't talk here. I'm telling you right now, your favorite rapper is the next coon in training. I'm telling you right now, your favorite black actor is the next coon in training. I'm telling you right now, your favorite comedian is the next coon in training. I'm telling you right now, your favorite singer is the next coon in training. I'm telling That's not what Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton talking about. They're talking about making sure you can become the CEO of Coca-Cola. They want to make sure you can become the CEO of a Levi's. They want to make sure more black people are on reality shows on television. They want to make sure enough of us get nominated at the Grammys. They want to make sure we don't get overlooked uh, at the American Music Awards. I don't give a, I don't care about no superficial crap. The problem, part of our problem is the leadership. The leadership is not visionary enough to know where to take us. Now, I'm not the greatest thinker in black America, not at all. But I have enough vision to know that I'm not going to waste my life. I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to die for stuff that is superficial. If I got to go to jail or lose my life, it must be something that is essential. We can't do without it. If we can do without it, it's not essential. And then we got to separate the things that we need to fight for from the things we need to build ourselves. We're fighting for some stuff that we need to build ourselves. When Jada Pinkett went off last year because no black person got nominated for best actor at the uh, Oscars or whatever that is, that's not a worthy fight. Yeah. Because as far as I'm concerned, right. no black actor should be going to the damn Oscars. They should have their own celebration. But we don't value anything black. That's not a fight worth fighting. You want unity amongst the races. Heard a Negro the other day said we need to unite with the Latinos. No disrespect to the Latinos. No disrespect to the Latinos. Most of them black anyway, but don't want to admit it. But they not going to work with you. Nobody works with black folks. A global chess match. Stop playing checkers. This is a global chess match. Stop playing checkers. This is a global chess match. Stop playing checkers. Make something very clear to y'all. I will not be proving anything with y'all. I don't care what you think about me. I do not live my life in the prison of other people's opinions, brothers and sisters. I do not live my life in the prison of other people's opinions. Wait a minute. Block party. Wait, where you at? Where that little, where that little shit, where that little human shit fly at? Right there. Had to get, we got a couple. What did I tell y'all yesterday about human shit flies? Didn't we talk about this? Didn't we talk about human shit flies yesterday in Wilmington, Delaware at the Fred Douglas Marcus Garvey Academy? What did I tell you about human shit flies? They always looking for some shit to play in. They always looking for some shit to spread around. They always looking for some shit to throw around. They always looking for some shit to spread, some shit to play in. But the human shit fly likes to look like they cleaning up the shit while they playing in the shit, right? So if y'all see any human shit flies on my live, all you got to do is say block party. And when I see the word block party, that means we got a human shit fly looking for some shit. And they don't care if it's horse shit, dog shit, bird shit, human shit. They just want some shit to play in. And we got a lot of human shit flies on social network. We got a lot of nigga shit flies. Dr. Umar got a whole army of nigga shit flies who be flying around my events. Flying around my website, flying around my social media, flying around my projects, flying around my initiatives. Nigga shit flies following Dr. Uma wherever he go. Trying to find some shit that they can play in, trying to find some shit they can spread, trying to find some shit that they can make more shit with human shit flies. Now here's my, here's my question. Here's my question. Here's my question, Sister Ari. <laughs> Your beautiful sister. Why you wear that weed? You have a gorgeous face. You don't need that. You could go natural. You could wear a low cut, look, baby I'm, fro, look, twist it up, blow it out. Picture. 
I'm natural in my profile picture, but I like the weave. We got to give up the weave, baby. We got to give up the weave. For the little girls. For the little girls now. <laughs> we need the sisters to look at you and know that they can be natural. You feel me? Okay. Now here's You have a European taking up space in your mind. That European looks like you, thinks like you, acts like you, but it is not you. It is the ghost of your oppressor. And that ghost of your oppressor that is living in your psyche is making decisions for you without your knowledge. That ghost of the oppressor who is living in your psyche is making decisions about you without your knowledge. Bury the cracker that lives in your soul. You can't serve two masters. You cannot serve two masters, brothers and sisters. You will serve the Caucasian in you, or you will serve the God in you. You will serve the devil in you, or you will serve the God in you. Which one is it going to be? It shouldn't have been the answer, I'm not trying to be racist. You don't have to try to be racist. You can't be racist. Racism is a group system. Racism is a group system that is created by a group implemented by the entire group who has systematic and economic advantage over another people's opportunities. The only way you can be racist against white folk is if you exercise some degree of control over economics and the political reality of white folk. Yeah, that's somebody who need to mute their phone. Somebody got the wind blowing. But if you don't control opportunities... If you don't control wealth, if you don't control institutions, how can you be ra to be racist? You have to be able to exercise power to be racist. You have to be able to exercise power systematically against another community. You can't be racist as one person. There's no such thing as a one person racist. Remember, I've taught you before that before you exterminate the body, you must exterminate the image. In popular culture, before you kill black men, you must exterminate the image of black men in popular culture. Before you kill black women, you must exterminate the image of black women in popular culture. And this is why I would argue that they have all these reality shows. Reality shows were invented to kill the image of the black woman. Gangsta rap was invented to kill the image of the black man. Reality shows was invented to kill the image of the black woman. And gangsta rap was invented to kill the image of the black male. Every rap song you listen to, it ain't nothing but killing other black men, going to jail, selling dope, exploiting women and worshiping materialism every damn song you hear different artists different beat different flow same message indoctrination and y'all let your children listen to this all day long look at the reality shows all the women are thirsty they ain't got no man can't find a man can't trust man long weave materialistic sexually objectifying their body look at these images and you know what's so sad about this, African people? Do you know what's so sad about this, African people? We are participating in the extermination of our own selves. We are the first people in human history marked for genocide who participated in the extermination of their own image. You're the first people. You can't name another people in human history who were marked for extermination and gladly and willingly participated in the extermination of their own selves. The liberal is the one you need to watch. See, the conservative tells you. George Bush tells you. Donald Trump tells you. It's Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton you better look out for. It's Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton you better look out for. Facts. The liberal is... See, I understand my oppressor. <laughs> You're not going to fool me with some new age tool. I see what's going on. See, I understand my oppressor. <laughs> You're not going to fool me with some new age. I'm tired of hearing it. Is y'all tired of hearing it? Because I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing it. Is y'all tired of hearing it? You don't want to be me. This is a hard job. You might see the benefits, but you don't see the detriments. It's work involved in this. Stop being childish with your young dumb ass. Okay? Stop acting like you're in sixth grade. You're damn near 30 years old. When are we going to grow up? Stop. If you don't stop your thirsty ass weak shit, 
That's weak thirst.